my beauties welcome back to the channel so today's video is going to start off a little different as you can see I do have my full eyes completed lashes eyeliner brows um, and shadow I'm going to be doing my foundation on camera my concealer on camera priming contouring bronzing blush highlight the whole nine yards because in the mail we got the Jeffree Star Concealers and Powders. Um, and I also got a new item that I want to add to the giveaway that will be starting again at the end of May. So April, May. Yep, so I did say May. So it will be at the end of May that we'll be starting that. But I got a new item that I want to add to that. Um, it came really, really, really fast. It came today, actually. And I believe the launch actually was on Friday. So, and when I say super fast, of course, that's a few days. But... For my experiences with Jeffree Star launches, they can be weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. But I was able to get mine in four days. So I quickly came in here, rushed, grabbed my blood sugar palette that I've owned for quite a while and threw these, um, threw these eyes on or this eye look on. And I wanted to sit down, open these up on camera with you guys, test them out, do a wear test, um, see how they smell, feel, touch, everything but taste pretty much. But before we get into that, guys, I do want to let you know the new item that we're going to be adding to the giveaway is a brand new blood sugar. This guy is just now being opened from the box. The palette has still not been opened. Um, she is completely untouched. I'm just going to do a quick check on her just to make sure that there's no damages, no divots, because I don't want to give you guys any damaged products. Okay, so there she is. She's brand new. She has the new palette smell, so she'll be added to the giveaway. So up here, I have an updated photo that will appear, but it's somewhere up here of what's coming in the um, the new upcoming giveaway with this new picture added. I do have more things that I want to add to the giveaway, so I apologize that the giveaway is taking forever, but I want to make sure it's epic as possible for you guys. And thank you so much for watching our videos and leaving comments and giving us thumbs up. It does mean a lot. So that's what we have going on with the giveaway. Let's go ahead and jump into putting on some um, foundation and primer. Jeffree Star, as we all know, does not have a foundation or a primer. Um, so I did grab, because he is very closely affiliated with Morphe, I did grab the Morphe foundation that I own. It is too light for me, but we'll fix that with contouring and bronzing and blush. And then I also do have the primer, and I have the primer in the equalizer. So let's go ahead and jump into starting with these two things um, using our correctors, because I did get all three correctors. And then we'll jump into some concealing and powders, bronzing, the whole nine yards. Okay, so the first thing that I did is I did add some moisturizer to my face, uh, just because I always moisturize before I do put my primer on. I just feel like that helps with better um, applying of the primer and the foundation. Um, so here's the equalizer, we're gonna go ahead and add that. Put a little bit on the back of my hand. And I do also have my yellow uh, Jeffree Star here that we had for quite a while. Just gonna start dotting that. This is exciting for me and also very scary for me because this will be the first time that I've been on camera bare face, and I say bare face even though I'm wearing like this incredibly insane eye look, but like no foundation, no primer. I literally only came on camera with moisturizer on. So it's exciting because I actually get to show you guys how I do apply my foundation and primer and concealer and the whole face, like the whole beat. But it's also very nerve wracking for me as well. It's nerve wracking already enough, I feel like. Sorry, this is turning into a chit chat video very quickly. It's already nerve wracking enough for me to sit down and film because you're putting yourself out there and I feel like everybody who starts off on YouTube and even if you've done it for a while because you're you know putting yourself out there and asking people to accept you I'm just rubbing this in sorry guys if I'm just rambling on but and then now I'm on here bare face all my perfections and everything so thank you guys so much for being supporting and loving but at any time, at any point, you feel the necessary need to leave a nasty comment or be rude, you will comment will be removed and you will be immediately blocked from my channel. That is, I don't care if you're mean or rude to me, mean or rude to somebody in the comments, you will be immediately deleted and blocked. That is, there is a zero tolerance policy for that. Here, I feel like YouTube has really, in the past, I want to say in the past couple of years, really taken a downhill towards that. And this is a positive space for everyone and I will not tolerate it. So 
with that being said sorry we had to get that out there because I want to make sure that everybody here feels safe and welcome and able to just open up and chat and be themselves and I will not tolerate people being rude or nasty so enough said I don't think we need to go over that any further but now we're gonna jump into the F120 I do know this is too late for me when the launch came I was going to do a video on this but there was so many that were out there and by the time that I had received my actual product it was like way too late and then the concealer or concealer the cover-up wasn't even my shade anyway so I'm like um yeah actually wait no before I jump into foundation I got the correctors so I'm probably gonna do this horribly but I don't I know that these are used for specific reasons but honestly guys makeup is makeup and not everybody's face is the same so do you um you know so I know a lot of people are gonna come for me and say oh no the peach one is actually listen I use it for underneath my eyes. Maybe that's the proper way to use it, maybe it's not, but that's what I'm using it for. This is the component, I know you guys have seen this a few times, Jeffree Star has unveiled it and then a few different videos that you guys may have watched. So this I'm gonna use just to um, conceal further some of that redness underneath my, or not redness, some of those dark circles under my eyes with this peach shade. And then we are going to use the green shade for any redness. Ooh. She's really pretty and very, very pigmented. A lot goes, a little goes a long way, let's put it that way. Okay, so we'll go with that. I may have put too much on actually. Ooh. These are my first time trying and testing these products out too, so if I do things horribly wrong, I do apologize. Oh, that is nice. That blended out super easy. And I don't see any creasing. Like, it, like, sat on my skin and just blended right in. I wonder how that's going to look once I start laying the other concealer on top of it. You guys will see in a minute how I do my foundation. But I generally, when I do my foundation, I don't put any foundation underneath my eyes. Just because I'm already putting concealer there. And I don't want the situation to get too cakey, which my skin will do. Um, just because she's very fussy. But that was very nice. I feel more awake. Can't really see it on camera, but it is a very peachy tint. It makes my skin look more awake, so I do really like that. Okay, so then the green concealer is almost like a minty shade, if that's how I could describe it for you guys. There's a component again. This is very sturdy. I was really, really concerned about this just being something that would flake off, but no, she's on there, and she is very, very sturdy. So the green minty shade, I'm going to use to kind of cover up a few unperfected areas. Like I got this scratch on my nose I want to cover up. That's attractive. A very green dot on my nose. Then we're just going to go and just dot any other further areas that I want covered and perfected. Gosh, I look adorable right now. I really do. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and blend that into the skin. And I always do this underneath my foundation which I don't know if other people do it above just because of it being green and red, but all my color correcting, I'm not gonna judge you and say you're wrong or not for doing that, but this is just how I choose to do it. Probably everybody does it the same, but that off chance that you do it differently, I don't wanna unfend you, so if it works for you, you figured out how to make it work in your makeup routine, then by all means, makeup is makeup, do you. I really wanna get this hair out of my face. By the way, I tried to curl my hair earlier. I saw this one YouTuber, she was like, um, that was attractive. It just went right away my eyeballs. She was curling her hair and she's like, yeah, the trick is to pin your hair up after you curl it. That way your like, curls will last longer. My hair did not do that. It just, just like poofed out and it got frizzy. Just, it's horrible. It didn't do the beautiful curls that it did for her. So it's all right. We're going to make it work moment. Anybody ever seen Project One Way? Tim Gunn? Oh my gosh. Make it work. I, I lived for that. So again, guys, warning, this is going to be too light for me, but we're going to make it work for the purposes of this video. I'm going to bronze and contour, so it'll warm it all back up for us, but it is very pigmented. I know there are a lot of mixed reviews on this foundation. I've only used it a handful of times, and from what I've seen, it was very full coverage. The scent doesn't really get to me as much, or maybe I just haven't used it enough. I don't know, but that's where I am with this foundation. Oh wow. So you'll see here, I leave this whole under eye area alone. Right now I do have corrector under there, but normally I would not. 
but I really wanted to try it out. Wow. Now it looks even more whiter on me. That's just the corrector right there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add some to the forehead. The ring light is not helping. Oh, the feeling of just buffing foundation into your skin and watching it like just magically look more better. More better. That's not a word, but I don't want to say, oh my god, my skin looks so great because in the end it doesn't, but it looks better than what it did. So I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my nose. Again, we're leaving that under area, under eye area. A lot alone, a lot alone, alone. Get as close to the brows as possible. That's the difficulty of doing your brows before you do your foundation, but I don't want to do my brows after I do my foundation because then if my brows, I mess up on my brows because I'm not perfect at it, let's be honest. And then I mess up my foundation. Okay, so I feel like I got that evenly spread as much as I possibly can. And the shade that I chose was that's the C23. The shade that I chose was the C8. If I can actually find it. So I chose the C8 just because I feel like that matched my skin the closest. There was a very big shade range. And normally when I buy concealers or foundation, I'm not that further down the list. But there's a lot of different concealers. So hopefully this matches. Let's find out. Oh wow, that is really, really nice. And the sad part is, is it's actually darker than my foundation, but you know what? We are gonna make this work. And I really wanted this video to be like all about Jeffrey, all about everything that he is. We're gonna be using his um, lipsticks as well, but he doesn't have a foundation and that's the only one that I could find that would be even closely enough to where to who Jeffrey is. I know he has been affiliated with Morphe and that's the closest thing that I could find. So even though it is too light, like I said, just Bear with me and we will get everything blended in together and we are going to contour, we are going to bronze, blush. Let me know down below too if you guys have tried his new concealers or powders. What do you guys think? Oh, there we go. Alright, so that is done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move into the setting powders. Banana there. And then I also got translucent. They sold out so quick. So I just need to a translucent shade. That was insanity. You should see my couch here. There's like just nothing but pink, beautiful, magic star, sparkly, and um, powder boxes everywhere. It's like super cool. Okay, so this is what the component looks like. So pretty. And let's see, it's twist. So you have to twist it open. Okay that and then you peel this guy off I like that and let's just tap some in the cap here so we're just gonna tap some in the cap like I always do Ooh. okay oh my god it smells so fresh which is so strange to say that but it also smells like candy cotton candy to be exact but it smells fresh which is weird Okay, so we're going to dip our sponge into that, and we're going to proceed to bake the under eye. I always bake. I never fake the bake. I always bake, because if I don't, it is crease and it's not cute. Oh my gosh. I can really smell that cotton candy shade the more that I put on. That is amazing. That is truly amazing. I love that. Okay, so then what I wanted to do is I wanted to grab my... I wanted to let you guys know too why I'm looking for that um, contour shade. I did get C0, which is the whitest shade that they had. And the reason why I got that is because I wanted to use it as an eyeshadow primer. 
I did use it for this look that I have on and I'm telling you it sat so perfectly on my eyelids. I did not have to set it. It did not crease. It just sat there. It was like a perfect blank white canvas and it just made everything even not setting it sometimes shadow can skip and you don't get that nice even blend but did not experience that whatsoever and i put one on one or i can still both well one eye at a time and did the eyeshadow on this side and then this eye was blank no problems whatsoever this eye still did not crease while i was working on this eye so I'm pretty impressed with the concealer so far especially for a primer which is not generally used for so eye primer should clarify that I did find the shade and we are going to use this shade I'll show you it up close this is not my color but I'm going to be using it as a concealer contour I've never done this before so hopefully all goes well Ooh, maybe I got too dark who knows I've never done this before so you don't generally contour either, usually just bronze and blush, but who knows? Maybe this is going to be a new habit for me. I love that the makeup industry is coming out with so many different makeup trends because you can really try different things and experience different things. Okay, let's go ahead and blend her out, see how that goes. Oh, she's blending in there beautifully. Maybe I was wrong. This is definitely a first impressions as well. Without, obviously, the C0 shade. Because I use that for my eyes. Because I didn't want this video to be 100 million years long. Yeah, she's blending in quite beautifully. That Noel's contour is looking gorgeous. Okay, Jeffrey, so we have eyeshadow from you. We now have concealers and powders. We are just waiting on foundation and primer. And, you know, while you're at it, seeing as how you are the makeup bully wonka, if you could provide us with a brow product, a eyeliner, a mascara, and some false lashes, I would totally be a Jeffrey's girl. That would be perfect. And I would love that. And I would totally be first person in line waiting to purchase said products. I don't even care what time it was released. But I think that he might do that soon. Who knows? His brand is growing so much and I could not be more happy for him and more proud for him. He is truly a self-made giant and that is incredibly impressive, especially for someone, you know, like myself and I think we can all relate. That's pretty amazing when you come from nothing and you're able to grow and do the things that he has done in such a small span of time. Oh, give me that. Okay, guys, so what do you think? I think that blended in really nice, actually. I was afraid it was going to be too dark, but I don't have that fear anymore. Okay, guys, so I'm not going to be using the banana powder. I just think that not something that would work for me right now, especially because I decided to use the translucent powder to bake. But I think I'm going to try and dip into this fair shade. And we're going to put that all over the rest of the face. But instead of using a sponge, I think I'm going to use a big fluffy brush. So we'll use this one. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill, keeping with the theme JH02. And this is generally used for a bronzer, but we are going to use it how we want to use it. That's that. Okay, so I got some on my brush here. I'm just going to tap off some of the excess and we're just going to lightly apply that everywhere. Oh my god, when you're dusting this all over your face, the smell is just flying everywhere. And my room has legit never smelled this good in my life. Have you ever seen those people who get like the Jeffree Star products? Before everyone else, when I get so jealous, I'm like, <sighs> I would kill to be you be on the Jeffree Star uh, PR list. Oh my gosh. That would be like a dream come true. Okay, let's just bake away and get into the rest of the look. Oh wow. Did I not do so bad? It's 
really pretty. Yeah, that's really pretty. My skin actually looks really good. And I don't feel like that's the wrong shade for me anymore. I feel like it kind of did blend in. So the next thing I want to do is I want to get my bronzer. My cute little makeup bag. Super adorable. It's Victoria's Secret. I got it off of Poshmart. Super cute. If you guys don't know what Poshmart is, it's, it's like a, um, a seller's website. So like you can sell stuff on eBay and um, Amazon. Sorry, brain freeze. And you can also sell things on Poshmart. I actually have a store on Poshmart too, so I'm kind of familiar with it. But the lady who I bought it from was super sweet and she gave me a really good discount and I love it. I love that it. it helps me keep very organized and travel with my makeup. Okay, and sorry, I should have told you guys this, but the bronzer that I'm using is the Butter Bronzer. If you've never tried this before, it smells so good. It literally smells like coconuts, which is super beautiful, and it smells delicious, especially perfect for the summertime. But let's be honest, I use it pretty much all year round. I have not used another bronzer. I used to be obsessed with the Too Faced bronzers, the Chocolate Soleil's, but this is just such a better dupe, and it's like less expensive, which I love. Oh my gosh. I want to, I would normally do this off camera, but I want to show you guys, like, because I baked the underneath area as well, so I want to do that for this video as well, just so we can have a further more chiseled, defined cheekbones. I was going to say face, but the proper word is cheekbones. Okay guys, actually on second thought, I'm actually gonna hop off camera really quickly and apply my blush and highlighter and I will be right back. Okay guys, I am back. We are going to go ahead and further, um, how do you say that? Is it cut the cheek now? Or is it bake the cheek? I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use some trends. Oh my gosh. You can't see it on camera, but there's just nothing but like a powder smoke cloud everywhere. It's just like this beautiful force field of cotton candy. It's it's pretty amazing, in my opinion. Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and we are going to bake the under cheek and we're going to um, bake the brow while we do the rest of the look. And we're almost done. So what I do for this is I like to just use a brush and the one that I use came in the Master Collection. I don't know if you guys remember, Jaclyn Hill and Morphe, their club. But, and this one is the JH10, which I believe you can actually buy singly as well. Don't quote me, but it is on their website. I'm just going to create the line that I want to bake. And then I knock it back off. We're going to go back in with our sponge. The sponge needs a bath. We are just going to bake the other cheek. <sighs> Smells so good. Sorry, on the overshare for you. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside, and while that, oh, I still have to contour my nose. Dang, you guys are just gonna let me move on to and not say nothing. Okay, so dang it, where to put my brush? Cause I need that brush. Oh, there you are. I'm gonna bake the most. I use the same brush. I really, really love this brush. Um, I'm gonna use it for my nose as well, the sides. And we are just going to further contour that nose. I love doing this. I think Jaclyn Hill is who I actually want to do this. And ever since then, I'm like, yes, doing it. Yes, queen. Anything you say, ma'am. I'm doing it right now. But we all know Jaclyn Hill is the eyeshadow skin queen. I don't know if that makes sense, actually. I don't know. Okay, so then we're going to jump into lips. Gosh, can you guys see it? I really like that powder and that concealer. It looks so nice. I don't have any creasing, any weird cakiness, but we're gonna do a wear test, obviously, to make sure. And we are going to use doll parts. Looks like that. Okay. We all know how great Jeffree Star look at lipsticks are. Ooh. 
I don't even think I would like this, but I really like it. I'm just trying to clean up the side of them. I really like it, especially with this look. It's really pretty. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I just want to put some bottom lashes on. Not bottom lashes, but bottom mascara. Should we do a gloss? I don't know, I feel like we need a gloss. I feel like that would be way too much. I don't know. This look is completely way too much, but hey, it's YouTube. Let's do it. I am going to, in case you're wondering what I'm digging through, I'm digging through one of my makeup pouches. I keep these. Um, I had them from a different train case from Victoria's Secret, but I keep them. And I just put like all my eye products in here, and then all my foundation in another one, and then like some standalone stuff in that bag, which is huge. And yes, I take it everywhere with me, because you never know when you're at a business meeting, or you're hanging out with a friend, or you're out at a family reunion, a large hot picnic. These are all real life examples that I've gone through. And you need to touch up. And you never know what you're gonna need to touch up, and then all of a sudden, you're sitting there, unless you're not a crazy makeup person like me, and your, I don't know, mascara is running, or your mascara fell off, which I'm pretty rare that that'll ever happen. But, and then you just don't have the mascara because you only brought your cover up and everything else, but you didn't bring any mascara. So, I always bring everything with me. I even bring a back up lash. I know that's extreme, but I don't know. I just like my makeup to look kind of on point. And kind of hard to do that sometimes, especially in the summertime. And I just generally, and just, just me personally, and it's just probably because I'm makeupably obsessed, I don't think, I, I don't feel as confident when like, oh no, my lip gloss is smeared or something. I don't know. Maybe that's just a girl thing. Yeah. Okay. Glass of this. We're doing this. We are doing it. Mmm. There we go. It's actually kind of cute. I don't regret it. Okay, so we're gonna grab the JH06 and we are going to dust away. Still not cakey, still liking it. I'm gonna dust away down here. Move in close so you guys can get a better look. Okay, so all that's left to do is to spritz the face and we are done. And as keeping with the theme, we are going to be using the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And one of the things I know for sure that I picked her from Jaclyn Hill, she has a black one, but I went on Amazon like that day. And I've been doing this off camera, but I'm gonna do it on camera today because I usually don't do my foundation on camera. She bought like a little handheld fan and oh my gosh, it changes your life. Not only does it set the makeup in such a different way, but it also just feels incredible as you're doing it. Like you've never felt this feeling, you never experienced this feeling, sprinting your face and then just feeling this cool breeze. Oh my gosh, it's everything. So perfect. I know this is so extra. I'm telling you, try this. These are like, I'm pretty sure you can find them for like nine bucks, ten bucks at the most. Oh, it is everything is heavenly and it dries your face so quickly. And I'm telling you, like, even if like I was to go to the park, I'm talking to you guys with my eyes closed so I don't want to ruin my makeup, but even if I was to go to the park in the summertime or go outside, I would carry this van and my setting spray with me and just be like oh I'm hot Shh, sh, sh. don't even care it feels so incredible and it is so refreshing sorry guys one last thing that I want to do I seen Jack would do it too and I'm like okay I have to try it I've been doing it for a while and I really do love it but after she's done with her face completely she spritzes one of her brushes again it could be any brush I just like this brush and she just spritzes it gets a little wet and then she dumps into her highlighter again and she just puts a little bit on her cheeks and it is so pretty. Look at that. Bam. She wants the highlight to happen. Just 
Kind of blend her out just a little. She doesn't go all over, but she does put a little bit on. And we're just gonna put a little bit right there. Ugh, perfect. Living. This is the highlighter that I'm using. If you guys seen my oh for mystery boxes you will see that in there and i'm telling you i don't usually go for mystery boxes but then you get to try new things and experience new things and i really like that so i tried a total of one two three four five different concealers um the c0 again i used that for underneath my eyeshadow it was really amazing the um peach corrector i used that underneath my eyes to cancel some of the darkness and the tiredness um, the C8, I use it as my main concealer, which I place underneath my eyes, above my uh, forehead, in between my brow, underneath my chin, my cupid spell, my little um, smile lines. Is that the best way to say that? And then I use this uh, green corrector shade, kind of like a minty shade, to cancel some of the redness. You see, I had some pimples, some unevenness, a scratch on my nose. And then I also use the C23 to contour. So here's what I say. This, even though it looks a really, really kind of deep and dark, this was really beautiful for contouring. I actually think I look, my face looks the best that it ever has looked, in my opinion. Um, this, I really like it. I could live without it. Again, I'm not really into correcting, but for this purpose of this video, I wanted to give it a try. I've never corrected before, so maybe I'll try it out some more and see what I think. Um, the peach shade, love it. Never living without it. It, it, oh my gosh. I am actually really impressed because it actually, I, I don't normally lay two sh concealer shades over top of each other because of the cakey situation. I tend to go very light on my under eyes, but it did a fantastic job and my under eye area looks bright and fantastic. Um, I also really like my shade of concealer. I really feel like it did match me very well, even though generally I don't have that, um, high of a number it was a little surprising i was a little skeptical but i really like it c8 i'm usually on like the one or the two side of the shade rain as for the powders i have powder everywhere sorry i want to show you a nice picture of them but as for the powders the fair and the translucent i did use these two today i use the translucent to bake underneath my eyes and also underneath my cheek and to um, also on my nose as well to kind of further contour the nose and I really like these. I think my skin looks fantastic. I'll scoot in a little bit closer. I think it looks really, really nice. And I think they did a really good job. I personally love the component, the design. It's really beautiful. Pink chrome. That's definitely Jeffree Star. It has been Jeffree Star, so it definitely represents his brand. And I love the smell of it. Oh my god. It is just fan-freaking-tastic. It is so beautiful. And then, for as far as the banana shade, I didn't use, but I will use in a future video. So, I'll keep you guys updated what I think about that. So, that'll wrap us up for today's video. Let me know down below what you think of his concealers. Did you try them? What did you try? Did you try the correctors? Did you try to contour with them? Did you try the products? Did you try the powder? Let me know down below. Also, don't forget to enter into the giveaway. All you have to do is be subscribed, leave a comment, and give this video a thumbs up. Your support means everything to us and it's helping us grow and continuing to grow so we can be here and hopefully be a positive reflection in your guys' life. You are definitely in our life and we can continue to make content and have um, things like giveaways to give back to you guys as well for all of your support and it means a lot to us. Thank you so much and remember to stay beautiful and always stay sexy guys. Till the next one.